So I'm here with Kate and I want to do something a little bit different because last week Kate and I were out to dinner and she shared with me this transition of moving from working and marketing a company to actually promoting herself and being out, out there in the world being her own brand. And she told me that there was a little bit challenging to make that transition and I thought it would be great to actually show you behind the scenes how we talk about this and the uh, fear and the anxiety that we've both gotten over when it comes to promoting ourselves and being the face of the brands. So, Kate, why don't you tell them what you told me? Um, so, we had, there was a lot of conversation about that whole idea of personal brand and putting ourselves out there. And I mentioned that um, I'm working with a lot of different women and they were sharing with me how hard it was for them to put themselves out there or they didn't want to promote their product or service or they didn't even want to share some of the content they had written because it, was, it wasn't perfect yet. It wasn't exactly where they wanted it to be. And I was sharing with them that I feel like, in a sense, we all have that, that perfectionist personality, when, especially as an entrepreneur or business mm -hmm. owner. And sometimes it's can really... Can always be better. Yeah, it can always be better. So until it's perfect, I'm not putting it out. So I um, I started an online marketing course, and this was kind of the, really one of the first things that I did on my very own. Mm -hmm. And it, it was the content that I was creating and put together, and I was so excited to promote it. And I did the video, and I did the landing page, and I took all this time to do it. And I'm not kidding. I didn't share that video. It took me three days. I just sat on it for three days but I know that it's valuable information and I and I talked through it with a number of different people while creating it and I was super psyched to get it out but still three days Absolutely. of just sitting there and a number of people never get over this that three-day hump they just yeah. don't do it and I can relate because uh, I feel like we've got a great brand here at Juicy Results and we've been creating blog posts and content for years and it took me a long time to be comfortable to say you know what uh, this company needs a face and rather than you know, kind of doing it in a halfway, you know, being halfway pregnant, as they say, <laughs> I'm going all in and I'm going to really do this. And we launched the Juicy Bit videos and, uh, you know, just putting out content constantly. And a lot of that content, not all of it, but a lot of it has my face on it. And I just had to get over that whole, that whole idea that I'm not the whole company, so I shouldn't be the only one out there because the feedback I was getting was you guys need a face. You know, you, you're very passionate about this stuff and we want to see more of you. And really it kind of pulled me into it. And what's great too is that now you're seeing people come in and they're seeing this whole other personality inside of you and that's just building your brand and the company's mm -hmm. brand and that is only going to strengthen everything else that you're doing and getting new clients in as, as services but also that, that personal brand. And right now, you have... People need to be building that personal brand. People are finding you on LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter or wherever you are. And I have a lot of businesses that, or business owners that say, well, doesn't it need to be professional or should I really link to my LinkedIn profile? Well, yeah, because whether or not they're looking at your company, most people, if even if they're talking to a sales rep, what are they doing? Going on LinkedIn and finding that person. Mm -hmm. So creating that content and sharing your expertise and really promoting what you do is important. If you're not going to be promoting what you do and be really excited about it, other people aren't going to want to do business with you. And more importantly, they're not going to know how they can connect with you. So I still have, or how they can do business with you. I was still dealing with the idea of people were saying to me, oh, well, you're in marketing, right? Or I still get a lot of leads from people that for doing things that I don't do. Mm -hmm. So it's up to me to make that really clear and um, concise so that people know what I do, they know who to refer to me, and they know how they can do business with me. Absolutely. I think that today and going forward, it's just a new reality in business. For, for decades, people have done business with people, but today they expect every brand and every company to have people behind it. And they want to test drive those relationships. They want to watch videos like the ones we create. They want to read the content that you're creating. They, there's so much choice out there that if you're hiding behind a black box and you're just hoping that they come and knock your door down because you're running enough advertising or if you've got a big brand, you know, I think that that reality is going to change. So if that's what you've been doing for the last 20 years, I feel like someone's about to pull the rug out from under you. Going forward with the, the you know, new population that is becoming mature and the millennials uh, being in business, they're just used to accessibility and they're used to personification and they're used to just transparency. And so if you don't have a brand that's out there, either if it's your personal brand or if it's a face of the company, I think you're going to suffer and have a hard time competing. Yeah, and I was um, um, with a, a group of women today for a mastermind group, and everyone there, we were talking about LinkedIn and, and generating content. 
everyone was so excited about what they did and the value that they're providing their clients and customers. And they want to for people to know how good they are, what they do, and how you can connect with them. And so they talked a lot about, well, I'm writing articles, but I'm not really doing anything with them. Or I'm doing a newsletter, but I really don't have a lot of people on my email list because I'm not asking people to join it. So get over that. You know, get over that whole idea of people are searching and they're craving for connections and people that speak to them in a way that you're speaking with your clients and customers. So just know that and be open to it and start getting your content out there and start letting people know how they can connect with you. And I promise you're going to start, people are going to start commenting and coming up to you. You say now that people are coming up to you at events. Hey, I, I love, love your videos. Love your videos. So if you're that person right now that has been you know, basically creating content or has this idea that you want to get out there and tell people what you do because you have all this value to offer. Hope, you know, use Kate as an inspiration and in this video to actually get you to get over that hump and realize that there's no value until you take whatever it is that you created or what it is that you have to say and you actually get it out there. So Use Jeremy as an inspiration <laughs> because I have always loved doing videos and watching him do his videos has honestly made me just get back into it, get back on it, and do it on a more consistent basis. So find those people start. that are going to inspire you. Yes, just start. So so here we are. We're over the hump. We're promoting ourselves. <laughs> and we want you to subscribe to the channel. We want you to comment and tell us what you like most about the content. And we want you to share it. So we're not afraid to ask for you to help us promote ourselves. <laughs> Absolutely.